Hey guys, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me on the runway with an SSTO. Um, I did an SSTO video a couple of days ago, and it did fairly well-ish, for me anyway. And I, you'll notice that this is another Rapier SSTO, in the fact that it has these Rapier engines. Um, these are really good for SSTOs and make it really easy, because in the past I've tried to build cargo SSTOs, and been only, only able to take small probes to orbit. This, however, has a cargo bay. Um, it's a decoupler cargo bay, so it isn't fully reasonable, but maybe I'll work on that. And I'm taking something to orbit in that cargo bay today with this um, fairly large uh, spacecraft and aircraft. It's an everything craft, so I will be firing up action group one to ignite the engines on air breathing mode. The brakes have disabled on the um, landing gear, which now will have brakes and... No, they've always had brakes. They now have steering and motors. Not quite sure how the motors work, haven't really been able to get them to work yet. But anyway, this has um, two command pods that don't go together perfectly, but look kind of alright, I think. Um, to get when you combine them, but I, I don't know. Um, anyway, it can take off quite slowly because of the way I've done the wings, which is... Um, well, if you're having trouble building planes, Scott Manley did a really good... Um, a tutorial on everything about planes. Like, I knew enough to build planes, but now I know even more. And you can see under here I have my intricate fuel systems, because this is a jet fuel tank, which feeds into these, which are only here to hold these um, ram air intakes, and that feeds into that, which feeds, uh, and the little in the little uh, fuel tank feeds into this big fuel tank. That uh, big fuel tank feeds into this jet fuel tank, which feeds back into this fuel tank, so every bit of fuel on the ship can be used by every engine, um, just because I like to build my SSTOs like that, if it's required. Um, well, I do now, before I wouldn't, but now I do because, uh, because brave fuel engines. Anyway, it's got a nice, uh, steep arc, and these aren't brilliantly powerful. Right now they've got, uh, 97.9 kilonewtons of thrust behind them, because we are in the lower atmosphere. So what I tend to do is, I pull up a little over 45 degrees, and try and gain as much altitude as possible until I get to about 10,000 um, then I flatten out a little bit and around 20,000 I flatten out almost completely get up to about 1200 meters a second um, then point up slightly and wait for my uh, wait for the rocket engine switch over and when it switches over to rocket engines um, I burn dire as directly upwards as I possibly can um, I'm sorry if the frame rates are a tiny bit lacking I don't think they are but uh, well, my screen, my computer's pretty clustered right now. I have faster than light video, uh, faster than light video rendering on my other screen for my other channel, with which I do with uh, a guy called Jacob. If you haven't seen that, check it out. There'll probably be links somewhere. Um, yeah, if you feel like it, I mean, you might be busy. And um, I have YouTube o open on the other window because, um, well, because it's midnight on a Thursday and I'm an insomniac, so I'm up watching YouTube videos and making YouTube videos, and that's why I probably sound kind of tired. I say insomniac, there's nothing actually really wrong with me, I just couldn't be bothered to go to sleep. Anyway, and you can see how steeply um, I'm pulling this ascent arc. Um, that might not even be a thing, ascent arc, it just sounds cool, because um, that runway over there, the secret, the secret runway, I was going to do hand gestures, but you can't see me because I don't have a reaction cam or whatever. Um, I haven't even got up to that, and that's only 30 kilometers away from the uh, space center back there, and you can see I've just gone pretty much upwards without basically being a rocket. I haven't actually built a rocket with uh, these engines yet. If you don't know, um, I probably should have mentioned earlier, but these are hybrid engines which switch over from rocket fuel, or from being jet engines to rocket engines when you run out of air, kind of like the engines that will be on the Skylon spacecraft. Um, British SSTO, uh, yeah, under development, they're basically building engines like these, it'll be jet engines um, that run on jet fuel and air, and then it'll switch over to oxidizer and liquid fuel, um, which is really awesome, that's, uh, the, that's Britain's contribution to space industry. Um, well, the space travel, we, I think it's 2016, um, the first British astronaut is going to the International Space Station. Um, I think most of my views come from America, so yeah, those guys are, you know, kind of winning at the space thing. Um, I saw the, I saw this, uh, 
I saw the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, and they were talking about um, they were talking about Russia and their space thing, uh, their space organization, and they're planning to s um, send a space probe uh, to the moon to look at various things on the moon, maybe like uh, the Lady spacecraft, which looked at the atmosphere. I'm not sure what it's doing, but anyway, it's scanning the moon's surface, I think. Um, and the Russian space agency said. Uh, Oh yes, we're very excited to see what we'll find out. Find out about the surface of the moon. Find out um, what we'll find on the on the surface of the moon. And Craig Ferbs and the host of the Late Late Show goes, "I'll tell you what you'll find on the surface of the moon: an American flag." <laughs> because yeah, oh no, yeah no, American space travel's pretty good. Although they did shut down the shuttle program, they still play a big part with um, the Maven spacecraft, which has gone to Mars, which is uh, scanning the. Um, upper atmosphere, there's two Mars rovers down, both American, I believe, well, I think those are a combination of, uh, I'm not actually an expert on, which com uh, countries um, put their uh, put parts on various rovers and things, uh, they've also, but America also sent, um, I say America, I mean the USA, have also sent um, a, a recently a space probe to the moon, uh, the Lady probe, which will be analysing the atmosphere on the moon. There is indeed a slight atmosphere on the moon, um, very tenuous, but uh, but there is an atmosphere, and it's been at when the Apollo spacecraft went there, when the landers went there, um, they would actually change the consistency of the atmosphere quite heavily because uh, well, it's such a tenuous atmosphere because such low gravity, but um, yeah, so rocket fuel would actually change it, and of course uh, America contributes in the private sectors with uh, orbital science, orbital technologies. I've got one called and SpaceX, obviously, who I was run by um, Elon Musk, who I'm pretty. Uh, I freaking love Elon Musk. He's awesome. He's done so much for everything he did. He's done. He was one of the founders of PayPal, um, something called another website called Zip2, which was at the very start of the internet, um, the internet 1.0, which basically failed. Um, and he made a lot of money off that. He's obviously made SpaceX, um, Tesla Motors, and He's part of uh, a company called Solar City, which um, uh, involved with s um, kind of transitioning over to solar energy. And my frame rates have just died. I am so sorry. Um, I've just realised how bad they are. I mean, I'm just. I think it's probably the heating effect having some problem. And I am heading downwards. Not too much of a problem. So I'm not going down too um, quickly. But I'm going to start pointing up a little bit, gaining altitude again. Because I'm getting ready to switch over to um, to the rocket fuels, to the rocket engines. The rocket fuels. I am sorry. I am tired. Okay, well that other video is 98%. Um, I, yeah. So that'll frame rates might dramatically improve really soon. Hopefully, it won't autoplay the video after rendering because then you'll just hear faster than light stuff. Okay. I can't improve these frame rates right now. I'm sorry. It's 99%. It'll be done soon. Really soon. Got to upload that probably soon. Okay, but anyway, I should. Uh, there you go. That's rendered, and the frame rates are still awful. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Straight up pointing upwards. Uh, okay, wait, what? What? No, no. Okay, I've lost camera controls. That's good. Oh crap. Yeah. Um. I'm okay. Is that, I'm hoping that's still recording because. Uh, yeah, of course, it's still recording. It's my. I just switched off my screen real quick. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna close this window. Okay, that was. Uh, I just closed the other window for better frame rates. Okay, now we're onto the um, rocket engines, and I'm pulling upwards. I'm sorry for that. That was. Uh, just had to get that rendered because I haven't uploaded anything on my other channel for a while. Ooh, got a throttle down. There is a massive overheating problem with these. I had to turn deadly reentry off because I kept losing engines. I also had to space these engines out. I was trying something really intricate, didn't work very well. So now I just space the engines out as you well as you can see now. So that because when they're close to each other they really overheat badly. And I'm actually not gonna point completely up because I still want to gain as much kind of forward velocity as possible. Um okay. I'm can okay, that's out of the atmosphere. Seventy five. As you can see I'm already going quite fast, so there yeah, I've got 17,000 meters a second in my orbital velocity, which is pretty good. I don't have that much further to go, and I still have a lot of fuel in these tanks. You can see there's lots. Um, yeah, 
it's I think yeah 500 liters of liquid fuel and 500 liters of oxidizer so that's good um yeah okay I'm just gonna time warp up there hey keythane's on wait what oh yeah I just upgraded keythane because uh the mod didn't work for um uh, the new version of KSP a few mods that didn't work uh, deadly reentry um that's been updated if you have that you want to update that because it screws with your game if you have it on um if you have an updated version keythane needs updating various problems i think most of them do because of the new um uh, in when you're in the vab when you hover over something it has a slightly larger image and i've noticed it with tack life support um, the images don't stop getting bigger, so like fill my screen, and it's really bad. Just basically look up any mods you need to reinstall. Um, I think MechJeb hasn't been updated yet, which is annoying because uh, I you like to use MechJeb while I'm building spacecraft, um, especially for Elu base. Oh crap! Burning too much there. Um, oh jeez. <laughs> Trying to bounce this and talk and not fall asleep. That's bad, I still have a day left of school. And then Christmas holidays, yay. I'll probably still be uploading through Christmas because, I mean, I'm not a... Um, okay, oh no. Oh jeez, I'm losing control of the spacecraft. That's always good. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I'll probably be uh, uploading a bit through Christmas because I'm not actually... A, I like Christmas, obviously, but, um, but I'm not a huge, like massive Christmas nut, so you know, it doesn't mean that much to me. Um, so yeah, I'll still be uploading stuff. Okay, that's in orbit. Not a good orbit, because I was kind of talking about stuff and not paying attention, but uh, are we on the light side? No, I'm going to walk around to the light side. You've got to see this. Um, Alright, so there's no RCS on this at this time. It is still kind of a prototype spacecraft. Um, I want to use it in my ELU base series, because um, I have a station in that, and I'll make it docking capable or something, um, and that'll be a good way of getting people to space, because then I can reuse a spacecraft, which isn't that important in KSP right now. God, this is jolty. I am sorry for these frame rates. This isn't even... I don't know, even know what's going on now. Um, anyway, let's flip this spacecraft round and reveal what is in the cargo bay. Um, I used just girders for the cargo bay, because I didn't want to use control... So not, um, uh, like, wing surfaces, because that might fuck up lift and stuff. Anyway, let's fire the door off. Well, uh, okay, go. Do it. Oh, I haven't put that in. Okay, I'll just stage it. Okay, that didn't work either. This is going well. There you go. Breaks off in three parts, and it reveals a small space probe. Yes, that's right. This is basically um, just trying to get as much in this cargo bay as possible. It's actually pretty small uh, as a cargo bay, um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it, given that it's stock. Obviously, I would like to be able to keep the door on there at some point. Maybe I'll work on that. But anyway, let's deploy this. This is... Well, it looks fairly unimpressive. Um, however, however, it is capable of getting out to, like, Drez orbit, so it could do, like, an interplanetary flyby. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to push off the cargo bay to uh, fly out and show you the little... Spacecraft, this is uh, my little probe. Um, yep. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, I just un open up all these things. So yeah, this could go out to somewhere and do some stuff. And it has its little engine. Okay, I'm, it's going well. For, this episode's going well for me. Anyway, yeah. So. Oh, God. There we go. That's the plane. Yeah, anyway. This has been long enough now, I think, and my commentary's probably died. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you kind of get feel like going off and building something like this yourself. As I said, the rapier engines make SSTO is pretty easy. And if you're still struggling with planes, go check out. There'll be tutorials everywhere. But Scott Manley did some really good ones. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this has been my. Cargo SSDO. I hope to improve it in the future and hopefully use it in series like Elu Base and things. But anyway, if you've liked this video, feel free to like this video um, or comment or subscribe and all, all of that fun stuff. And if you really uh, feel like it, as I have already mentioned it in the um, 
in this video, feel free to go check out my other channel. That'd really um, help me and my friend out. That'd be awesome. Um, but if you don't feel like it, you know, have a nice Christmas, I guess. This has been Chaos Proof Tape. I will see you next time.